Hi. Today I'm just following up on the UVC LEDs video. First of all, I managed to find my test cards so we can quickly and conclusively test whether those LEDs really do emit UVC light because my spectrometer didn't quite extend down into the correct region. And also a big thank you to those of you that offered your services for measuring the spectrum. Apparently these quantidose cards are actually quite accurate in terms of their indicator, and we also get an indication of the intensity of the light coming out from the UVC LED. So we'll have a quick look at this with those LEDs. Also, one of my subscribers, apologies, I forget who, and I can't remember if it was in the comments or whether you sent me an email, but you pointed out that there were some UVC LEDs available from potentially sort of better brands. Um, these were from Mauser, so this is an LED made by Luminous Devices, and they have a much more comprehensive data sheet that suggests that these are the real deal. So let's have a quick look at these. Now they are fairly pricey in comparison to the price of the Chinese ones. This is the one that I've ordered, the CD280, uh, coming in at £18 plus VAT, so quite expensive for a single LED. Uh, we've got the details here. It's the same sort of package, 35-35 size, 350 milliamps, and a similar forward voltage, obviously, because of the uh, physics behind the emitter. We've got the data sheet here. So they've got a few different types. They're saying it's for disinfection, healthcare, uh, processing, instruments, and horticulture. I originally said I think that the analytical instruments is primarily where these UVC sources are going to be useful. And if you look at the specifications, you can see why I say that. Because, uh, for example, let's just say we go for something in the middle here. We've got a LED with the binning that gives us a maximum flux of 40 milliwatts in the UVC region at 350 milliamps. So we're getting 45 milliwatts, or, sorry, 40 milliwatts of light out with 2.1 watts going in, which is a 2% conversion from electrical energy into UVC light, which seems pretty poor. And I think it does say on here somewhere, it might be on their website. So yeah, it says up here, luminous UVC LEDs are highly efficient. So with a overall 2% conversion ratio, that doesn't strike me as hugely efficient. In terms of the comparison against discharge lamps, so we've just got an example here from one supplier, but you can see based on their specifications, you put in five watts of electrical power and you get one watt of UVC light out from the discharge tube. So about 20% efficiency there. Obviously you do have to drive these, so there's some losses in the driver, but 10 times better than the LED, which is why for general disinfection, a discharge lamp is gonna be far more suited because you're getting much higher powers. You know, you can get discharge lamps with powers, you know, up to 100 watts, uh, probably more from other suppliers. If you tried to do that with the LED, you'd need a huge amount of LEDs and it just wouldn't be cost efficient. Plus you have to do all the cooling and everything like that. So I think, although they do say for disinfection, I think these LEDs are probably more suited to instrumentation or disinfection of very small areas. So a quick look under the microscope before we test it, but you can see here, it looks a very similar structure to the previous UVC LEDs, only this time, the whole thing is a lot cleaner and tidier. You can see that the production that went into this is a little bit more advanced or taken a little bit more care of compared to the cheaper Chinese ones that we looked at in the last video. Okay, so we've got the LED about an inch away from the card as recommended on the Quantidose website. I've just put a fan here blowing on the LED because there's not really any cooling and we're gonna be putting about two watts into this. So we're gonna run it at 350 milliamps. What we should see is the word UVC in green or yellow. We should see it in green for this because there's no red LED indicator on this UVC LED. And then at the bottom, we should be able to read ultraviolet. And after 15 seconds, you can see here there's a scale. So it says moderate, high, very high, or extreme for UVC. And if we match the color, that will give an indication of how much UVC light is actually hitting that test card. So let's turn it on. So very clear indication there that it's UVC light and we're starting to see the word ultraviolet. We're at about 10 seconds now and that's 15 seconds. And it looks like the scale is somewhere between moderate and high there. It's definitely above moderate, it's starting to fade now. 
but somewhere between moderate and high for this UVC LED from Luminous. In comparison, here is one of the cheapest emitters that we could get from LCSC. It's the one with the UVA and the UVC LED built in. So let's have a look at that. We'll power up the UVC LED first. This one's only rated for 120 milliamps, so about half of the power into the LED. So it's definitely emitting UVC. We're getting a nice green indication there, and we are starting to see the word ultraviolet. However, that's 15 seconds, and it's probably not quite getting up to the indicator that suggests we're getting a moderate amount of UVC light. So definitely less power, but it is a true UVC LED. Out of interest, let's see what happens if we apply power to the UVA LED. So obviously, we're not seeing the UVC part glowing bright green, but we are seeing the word ultraviolet, and it does appear to be quite intense in terms of the colour, so we'll just give it about 15 seconds to settle. And yeah, this is clearly where LEDs are starting to become a lot more efficient. You can see that's the equivalent of moderate UVA slash UVB. It's UVA that we're getting from here, but we're getting that quite clearly with just 60 milliamps and a forward voltage of 3.4 volts. So a lot less power going in and we're getting quite a decent amount of light out from this UVA LED. And then we'll just test this higher output UVC LED. This is one of the Chinese ones from LCSC, $8.50, but this one is rated for 350 milliamp input current. So it should be roughly equivalent uh, to this much more expensive LED from Mauser. So let's try this one. Okay, so we'll power this one up. Again, a very clear indication that it's UVC being emitted and we're seeing the word ultraviolet, so we're definitely getting UV light from it. And about 15 seconds in, we're definitely getting more than the moderate indicator at the bottom, but not quite as high as to indicate that we're getting a high amount of UVC. But you can see there, that is definitely darker than moderate on the test card. So what does this actually mean? Well, basically, all of these LEDs do actually emit germicidal UVC light, so you could use them for sterilization purposes. Obviously, the higher current devices produced more UVC light, and we saw the word ultraviolet in a much darker colour with these two LEDs on the left, and obviously those are also the most expensive. But the Chinese one did seem to work equally as well as the one double the price from a more reputable brand. It's slightly bigger, so potentially a bit better for heat sinking as well. But overall, um, as what it says is that if you can see the word ultraviolet within three seconds, then these LEDs do actually emit more than 300 microwatts per centimetre squared at that particular distance, which is enough to kill bacteria and germs and viruses uh, within a very short period of time. Now, as we saw, these are not hugely efficient, potentially 2% from electrical power to the ultraviolet light that they emit, nowhere near as good as a standard discharge tube. So if you're looking to sterilise a wide area, Although you could use an array of these to cover the area, it's probably not the best use of your money, and it's certainly not electrically efficient. What you'd be better off doing is just using a standard discharge lamp, which doesn't need the cooling, doesn't need the driver in the same way. You can drive that with a standard fluorescent ballast, for example. You could use a discharge lamp in that format, and you get a lot more light output with a lot cheaper investment into it. Now, they probably do have niche circumstances where this kind of thing could be used for disinfection, uh, probably in some instruments or some very small area that you want to keep clean. One other application that I was thinking of is it's quite common to have UVC sterilizers on aquariums and ponds. Now if your aquarium's small enough and you can get a piece of quartz glass tube, you could sit one of these right next to it and pass water through that tube as part of the filter loop or something like that and you could start to kill the algae in the water column if you have a problem like that with your aquarium. It would probably take a lot longer than some of the other light sources that you can buy, but it is definitely a viable application, and there's probably some other areas where it could be useful as well. So I think that's just a useful conclusion, just to prove whether or not these were UVC LEDs. They definitely are, so if you were looking for a UVC LED for some kind of application, these are viable options. I'll put the links to these in the description down below. Thank you to JLCPCB for sponsoring this video, and until next time, thanks for watching.